Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this quick video I want to talk to you about an email that I got from a fella that has an early 60s beetle and his original beetle has the steering wheel shifter e-brake the same color as the car or possibly a shade darker. So what we see here is a 1962 turquoise uh, beetle. This is a Build-A-Bug project that we're doing for a cool girl named Lori uh, from out in California. She shipped this over to us, so we're building this for her from the ground up and taking it off the chassis, and we just finished gutting it, and we're going to send it out for Media Blast. But before I do, I just wanted to talk about this quick email that I got, and the guy was wondering, should I keep the steering wheel, the shifter, e-brake, um, the same color as the car which it came with. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. I have never come across one before and that is you know the the steering wheel the same color as the car the shifter the e-brake so like this particular car instead of it being like the the gray color that you see on the the e-brake which is stock uh, or the almond color up by the steering wheel or the steering column it was actually the color of the car or maybe a shade darker uh, I've never come across one in my whole uh, 10 years of doing the business here, um, but I have seen them online, I have seen them at shows, and it's very rare uh, to, to, to see that, and I think it was only an early 60s thing. Uh, please uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. You can leave it in the comments uh, below. Um, but his question was, should I keep it original or should I you know, go back? Or if I, wa I wanted to go to Almond like all well, the other bugs are, you know, would that devalue the car? I would say if you have an original piece like what we have here, this is an original 62, numbers matching, body, chassis, motor, uh, fenders, hoods, everything is original on this car. It was never really restored. It was just sprayed once um, and it's never really touched. Uh, so that sort of thing, I would think right off the bat, I would probably go back to the way it was and send away for the German birth certificate and find out more details. Now, I know I'm going to get emails saying, hey, Chris, how do I get a German birth certificate? Well. Google is your friend, guys. So right in the search box, just type in German birth certificate and you'll be forwarded to the website where you can input your information about your beetle and they'll send it to you, send you a certificate with all the uh, historical facts and data about your bug and probably expect it within a few months, sometimes six months, depending how busy they are. So if anybody has any comments or wants to leave any uh, further input on this or the history of what Volkswagen did when it came to their steering wheel, their e-brake, shifter being the color of the car. I mean, it's just amazing sometimes when you open the door, like I have here, and boom, you, when you look in and that steering wheel is sitting right there and it's the color of the car, and along with the steering column and even the turn signal switch is also the color of the car. Um, I've, it's pretty cool. I've never really seen it in my, I haven't had one in my shop. I've seen, it, I've seen them at shows and I've seen them online. Uh, but uh, I don't know all the history about that. So if anybody wants to leave a comment about that and help this fella out, I would say go with the original specs of what the car came with. But ultimately, it is your decision. So, okay, guys, not much of a tip, but just uh, some historical facts about what Volkswagen did, some of the quirky things that they did in the history. And I do believe it was just an early 60s thing. I don't even think they went too much into the mid to late 60s with that sort of feature. So, okay guys, Chris at ClassicVWBugs.com or visit my website, www.ClassicVWBugs.com. Take care. Um.